Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try and show you how to flash a Magic Home RGB LED strip uh, controller to uh, Desmoda, flash it to Desmoda and then connect it to uh, the Motix. Uh, first we need to be clear uh, uh, for what, uh, what version of the Magic Home you have. I have the uh, one with the ESP chip uh, soldered this way to the board. There is also uh, another one with not a breakout soldered onto the board, but with the ESP chip directly onto uh, the board. And that one has the, flash, uh, the soldering pads needed for flashing on the back side of the board labeled. But this one does not. And, uh, well, it is actually, uh, if you uh, are a bit comfortable with soldering, you can flash this one pretty easy. And I will show you how. Uh, we first need our ESP8285 pinout. And I've got that one over here. And if we, well, just get those ones next to each other we can see that this looks fairly identical and the pins we need are this one over here this is the uh, VCC pin uh, you connect uh, your FTDI 3.3 volts uh, over here I suggest soldering because you well you can't hold five pins <laughs> to the chip while flashing, while flashing. And we need to connect ground over here. We need to remember this pin, this is GPIO zero. We need to uh, hold this one to ground uh, when we plug in power to get it into flashing mode. Then over here we have our TX pin, uh, which we need to connect to RX on our FTDI breakout. And this is the RX pin which we need to connect to TX on our FTDI board. Once you've got that soldered, we need our Tesmoda, uh, well, flash uh, ESP8266, which is also linked in this description. And if we, well, plug in our thing and connect our COM port and then connect our flash, uh, uh, our binary file we can click flash and once that's done uh, well we click click flash and once that's done we will open uh, termites and we can put in our backlog command like I showed you in uh, another video with your uh, well Wi-Fi SSID and password so it will connect to Wi-Fi When it is connected to Wi-Fi and you've got your IP address uh, and you've logged in, you can go to configuration, configure module, and then select the magic home from the drop-down menu and then click hit save. Uh, this will apply a certain configuration. And then if we wait a little bit, we can, we get this screen and we can toggle it. Well, uh, turn on, and on and off the uh, well darker and brighter and turn it back off um, to connect it to the Motix we need to go into the configuration and we need to configure a MQTT broker uh, I showed you in a previous video how to do that and if you have done that we need to go to configure the Motix and we need to get an IDX well you can get that in your Motix instance I will go to mine this is my domotics instance and you go to hardware and you need to make a dummy device which is a rgbw switch and i will call it magic home and you click hit ok and then go into devices and select the top and over here you will find your IDX, which in my case is 765 of, or 56. And we need to paste that over here. Save this one. 
and if you wait a little bit and the device will restart and now we can get them next to each other and I will need to scroll down over here and now we can well turn it on and off well we can turn it on and we can change the colors from within the motics and change the brightness level which is really handy because in Tasmoda you will need to uh, well get in well really really difficult commands to get different colors and within the motics you can easily select all those colors and it will automatically set it that color on your RGB LED strip so I hope you found this uh, useful and I hope you get your one uh, working and I hope to see you in the next video bye